Hello. In this video, we are going to discuss an interesting concept about pivot point that is primarily useful while rotating your objects. Now here, if you want to rotate your object, you can press R and rotate it on Z axis, right? Or rotate it on X axis and so on. This we have already discussed. Now the point is, if you will notice, I have kept this on a setup like this to give one understanding. Now, if you note, notice, suppose this was the body of the monkey and this monkey is connected from this point. So, if it had to say, uh, let us say yes or no, if it had to say yes, so we will rotate it on x axis. But this, this should not happen, right? Its chin should not get separated from here. Or if it had to say uh, no or something like this, then the chin should not get separated. Now, why is this happening is, if you see this dot over here, fine, this is the center of mass for this object and this is currently being used as its, uh, you can say, pivot point. Pivot point is the point, center point or some point from where the three axes will be passing from that object, fine, while rotating. So, if you say when I say rotate on Z, you will notice that Z line is passing through. If I say X, X is passing through that and Y is also passing through. Now, if you wanted this monkey to be rotating in some from some other point, like for example, I we have our favorite matchbox over here. Now, this matchbox is rotating around this particular line. But let us say you might have noticed what is a door or <laughs> notice means everyone knows what is a door. So, a door is basically connected from hinges on one side and it, if you rotate the door completely on Z axis, let us say, so what is happening is, this is the point where the door is rotating around. If, if you have seen those revolving doors, the axis passes through the center and the door revolves like this. So, that is your, uh, this thing, from where the axis passes or three axes will meet is the point which is currently being decided for this. This is also here actually it is referred as the bounding box center or in this case if you see the individual's origin. So currently it is set to the origin of the object. Now what is origin I will discuss in another video. Now here you can take median point, active element or some other element so on and other kind of things. But we can change this pivot point fine, to 3D cursor and utilize that for our purpose. So let us do one thing. Let us first place the 3D cursor over here fine, and then roughly here. So if you want really precise so let us place the 3D cursor over here then here just by being precise you can do something like snap to cursor to grid this way the cursor is snapped fine now what i will do is i will say this as 3d cursor and now see the difference when i rotate this will be used as pivot point so if i say rotate on x now you see the movement is different if i say rotate on y now you will see okay i didn't select anyone again let me do it. rotate on y now you see it is a different one let's see from the front side rotate on y so this is a different movement and rotate on z now this is what we wanted to notice so rotate on z now if i am rotating it since the pivot point is somewhere near the chin it is rotating like this so that is the idea behind pivot point. Now another interesting thing that you could do actually is can the pivot point be outside the object? Yes, we can keep it here. Now in this case, you will have a different action taking place. After the selection of the cursor, make sure you switch to another one because as soon as you click somewhere, the cursor will move over there. Now rotate on Z and see what happens. Now since this is the pivot point, it will rotate like this. Fine. This is very useful when you want to place objects in a circular manner or something like that. You can set a pivot point and make copies of it. Similarly, being this the pivot point, if you rotate on Y, 
why you won't see much difference but if you rotate on x you will see the difference how it is moving and if let's say randomly if we place the pivot point somewhere and rotate on y now you see it is different so pivot point is basically the reference which the object will use for its rotation fine finally once your work is done you can set it back to individuals origin bounding box center or something like that now once i've set it back if I rotate it on X, now you see it is again rotating in a different manner. So that's the idea behind pivot point. And during some videos, we will see the different usages of these different kind of pivot points and so on.